Alright, so good morning everyone, welcome back to another day of the split mod. Today it's Monday, the start of a brand new week, and how are we kick starting this week? Well, we're starting with the pirate invasion, because as I was prepping for today's episode, I got the notification, so any second now, just like that, right on cue, pirate invasion. Now let me tell you, do you know what I'm most concerned about? Snapping a photograph of the pirate captain. I've become very hooked on this little like Pokemon snap mechanic. So here I am with my DSLR, bam. That's all I cared about. The rest, I don't care. So it's just a, another pirate invasion. But yeah, welcome back. Hope you all had an amazing weekend. Uh, I know I said I'd be posting on Sunday, but I realized I have a lot more packing to do than I first thought. So I had a very productive Sunday. It was nice. Saturday was uh, amazing too. So this is it. We're in the, the final week now. Not the final week of the Let's Play, but the final week of the house saga. And that's because on Wednesday, hopefully, we should uh, get the keys to the new house. And then, you know, it's all over. Um... And very slowly over the next week, I'm going to be moving stuff in. And then the Tuesday after that, we'll have the big move. But yeah, I can't tell you how relieved I am for it to almost be over. This is a saga that has lasted way too long. Uh, for one, you know, it was like a year and a half of me and Courtney trying and failing to find a house. And then it's been six months of watching it grow from, um, from a couple of bricks and a dream. Yeah, I'm really excited. So on uh, on Saturday, oh god, <laughs> I got absolutely stumped. Like I say, I'm not actually bothered about killing a pirate captain. Nah, just the photograph. Um, so on Saturday, me and Court had our house demo, which is where they like walk you around the house and they go, so it's done. They're like, here is you know all the appliances. Here's how the boiler works. It's all really simple because it's basically the same as as what we have now. But it was cool. It was the first day where. It felt like a proper house, like, it's the first time seeing it fully finished, and it was, yeah, it was cool. I mean, it wasn't fully, fully finished. There were, like, little bits I was like, alright, this might need sorted by a couple of days, but it was nice. i tell you what was also good, um, so we've met one of our neighbours, and they're delightful. So lovely. They're an elderly couple, they're the sweetest thing in the world, like, they were looking after their grandkids' uh, dog, and she was like, this is my grand dog, and I was like, that is actually adorable. Uh, so that was really nice, but we'd never met the, the other neighbours, but we met them, uh, and they're also really nice. It's like um, a young family, older than us, so I'm still using the word young, um, <laughs> but they were really nice, and they, they get their keys on Friday, so yeah, but it'll be nice for them to move in, because their house has been done for, for months, and ours hasn't, but it's just so aligned that this is the way. Uh, Alright, so Pirate Invasion, what happens after this? Well, uh, we're going to be finishing up uh, the mech bosses, because if you didn't see, we did fail to the Destroyer, not before he took out uh, James the Clothier, which I still uh, very much mourn about. If you didn't see it, Mythical Water drew a fantastic uh, drawing about it, um, and it really sums up the anguish and the confusion. So uh, if you want to check that out, it's on the community page or on Mythical Water's Twitter. Um, but yeah, we're going to be doing that, and then it's on to the next boss, uh, which is apparently really hard. Everybody said, right, get ready for the next one, because the next one's where it starts to get very difficult. I'm excited about that. I am. It's going to be a good week. Um, hopefully videos shouldn't be interrupted this week. Um, what's cool is, the new internet gets turned on on Thursday. So I'm literally going to move in to the new house, my office stuff, probably on Thursday. Wait, Genoshi has left? Did you die? <laughs> did you die or did you just go, nah, not for me anymore. What a world. All right, anyway, let me finish this up because I'll be here all day and I'm clearly distracting myself and, and kind of like losing all my moolah, even though I quite need it. Right, so this pirate invasion is actually going a lot better now that I'm focused. I managed to kill a, a pirate captain. Uh, no reward, unfortunately. And if we keep going with this, uh, we should be able to take down a flying Dutchman. Truth be told, I can't remember the loot. Do you even get loot in 1.3.5 from the Flying Dutchman? I don't remember. I miss 1.4. I really do. Like, when I see... There are certain moments that when I see it, I'm just like, oh, that's 1.4. Like, when you kill a Flying Dutchman... Well, I guess it doesn't really matter now because they nerfed it, but when you kill it in Master Mode and get the, the black spot, and it's like a really sick mount. I love that. I really do love that. It's cool. 
So I missed 1.4 in that sense. All right. Um, sorry, I'm just wiping my eye. <laughs> my eye starts to scratch. Right. Um, not much longer left now. Um, yeah, should be done soon. So I will say um, obligatory, you know, Monday morning question. Uh, what did you do with your weekend? I'm always interested to know. It's one of the perks, honestly, of having um, a little YouTube audience, you know, creases of the couch, is that you're all from different places of the world, and you've all got your own little hobbies. Obviously, a lot of it is probably gaming, um, but I am interested, so do let me know what you got up to this weekend. Oh, God. <laughs> we maybe died. Right, so that is the pirate invasion uh, wrapped up. Very nice. Good to get it out of the way. No real benefit to it, honestly, at this point, but... Oh, no. <laughs> Rubbing salt in the wound right there. Um, okay, so... You lot let me know that the more we do, the better rewards we get. So, Pirate Captain. Love the sprite. Bam. Frozen Bangle. Increases damage done to enemies inflicted with Frostburn. Ooh, very fancy. All right. So, yeah, I guess we, um, we crack on with the Mechanical Worm. So I'll tell you what we'll do. Um, we'll dump all of this into into here. Say goodbye. Uh, and then all I've got to do now is go and grab some um, Souls of Night. But this shouldn't be too hard because we do have... Um, well, it'll just be easy anyway. Joseph the Merchant has arrived. Oh yeah, everybody's dead. <laughs> Nobody survived the onslaught. All right. Yeah, we'll get some Souls of Night. I'm fairly certain we have everything else like the Rotten Chunks and all that. So this shouldn't be too much of a hassle. Like I say, we did die in the last episode, but I do think we died because we were kind of... I was trying to rush, essentially, just so that we could get it out of the way. But we got a little bit of time to relax on this one. Alright, so, um, Souls of Night have been, uh, obtained. I think it's six. <laughs> it's weird, because now I'm, like, proper doubting myself. Um, oh, we don't have, um, we don't have a potion seller. That's a bit of a shame, because I would like to, to get some buffs. Tell you what, let me dump all that in there. Uh, let's see what we got behind. Archery. <laughs> that might not cut it. We do have bottled water. We probably can make... Um, let me see. Right. Let me just look at potions. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Right. Uh, regen. Um, iron skin. What else should we make? Anxiety. Temporarily increase... Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, go on. I'll take that. Anxiety potion. Bam. Right. Awesome. Um, what else? Gives temporary immunity to most debuffs. That's kind of interesting. Should I take it? No, I'm not I'm not too bothered about that. Maybe a shiny boy to you lot at home? Alright. Uh, so let's see then. Mechanical. Hey, mechanical wormy boy. Alright. Uh, so we'll begin. We'll buff up. And we'll just get into this. Uh, honestly, uh, it's just going to be a case of like... Yeah, just shooting away and firing away. This will be fine. So, um... Trying to think if I, if I actually did anything else on the weekend. I did have um, a family day, which was very nice. But yeah, it was mainly just the um, the housing demo. I will say, in terms of stress, the housing demo was the biggest like sigh of relief I think I've ever had. Because over the past, I don't know, I want to say like two to three weeks, I've been feeling very stressed about moving. Stressed because there's a lot to do. You know, not knowing if it's, if it's all perfect. Um, and also just sad to be leaving my house now because I've lived here for four and a half years and this is the longest house I've ever lived in and I don't just mean as an adult I do mean as like my entire life four and a half years. It's um, a long stint really like Chippy's couch was basically birthed in this house almost um, So yeah, so I was feeling very stressed about it But then you go to the little house and demo and you realize that, you know, all your little options that you chose and what you like, and it's all built to a nice standard, and, you know, it starts to feel like home. Like, and I was doing little things, like, <laughs> like moving um, the shelves in the fridge while I was there. I know it's weird, but I was like, nah, I want to do this now, because then it's like, it feels like home then, in a weird way. Because they have the shelves all set up very strange, i got to say. This is standard fridge practice, but I was not a big fan of it. They did not leave enough headroom for a nice pint of milk, all right? I don't drink milk that often, but every now and again, it gets worked its way into a beverage, right? So I had to I had to make these fine adjustments, but now it was cool. They, um, one of the things that it explains, I've never, I've never used one of these before. It has a, an induction hob, which is like, um, I don't know how it works, magnets? 
<laughs> I got no idea. I'll look into it. Anyway, it's like an electric um, hob for, you know, for heating up your, your saucepans or whatever. Never used one before. They're quite, they're quite techy, to be honest. I quite liked it. I think I'll forever miss gas because I do prefer cooking with gas and I think I always will. But we opted for induction because it looked fancy. It looks like a, a little sheet of glass. But now I'm worried about it getting scratched. Look at me, becoming a homeowner. How boring is that? So another Clothier has died, unfortunately. But look, James the Clothier will reign supreme. He is the ultimate Clothier. No others will suffice. Obviously, I'm not going to message Terrari for this, but it would be really sick if James the Clothier sold a chippy's couch. You know, so it wasn't so hard to get. <laughs> but I think then it might be a little bit too obvious what it's a reference to. I don't know. But Chippy's Count is a very obvious reference. It is cool. Can't wait to play more 1.4 just to get more Chippy's Counches. <laughs> I mean, in the last Let's Play, we had the scuffed version. And it was pretty scuffed, alright? <laughs> so, you know, it's saying a lot. This Destroyer fight's gone on a while, but I'm just happy to see that it's not, like, the worst thing in the world. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's nice to know that we are going to beat this. We're not going to die. It's a, it's a big sigh of relief, especially after the last episode. Let me let me give you some stars, my dude. I thought this star thing was going to be like the ultimate DPS. I'm so glad I didn't invest all of our money into stars, because it's not actually that good. So what's it doing consistently? Eight, 780 DPS? Look at this. This is going between 800 and 1,000. Right. There we go. The destroyer has been destroyed. I know. Very poetic. Okay, so... um. That is it. The jungle grows restless. Plantera is now available. Bam. Golden toilet. When did we pick that up? When we deserved it. Right. So, um, obviously you've got to make the, me the mechanical card. Um, you know, most crucial item in Terraria. <laughs> um, and then we'll also make the pickaxe as well. Um, so let's do that. Pickaxe. Pickaxe axe. What a beautiful name. Uh, alright. Bin that. So yeah, so now we've got to work on the next boss and figure out how we kind of go about that. And I actually don't know. So it's going to be a little bit of a learning curve here. And maybe that you lot might be able to tell me uh, how to get it started. Kind of like the last one. So let's have a little look. So the next one is Mirage. Challenge the mysterious lady in the desert or use an amber mirror. I like it. I wonder if um, she will spawn in during the daytime or during the nighttime. Or whether she will be underground or above ground. Or maybe during a sandstorm. I don't actually know. Um, but yeah, Mirage. Mirage is in like an actual Mirage. That makes sense. I can see why it's the desert. Um, so what do we do until then? Tell you what, let's have a little look. If we can if we can actually see it pop up. Let's see that first. So if we can get the mysterious woman to spawn. Then we can learn a little bit about her, her, her motif. Her patterns are AI. I don't know. For real, I just want to actually see if she'll um, if she'll spawn in. Because actually, I tell you what, I'm gonna make it daytime. I don't really like it being night. <laughs> okay, all right, clip. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Yeah, let's go and see if she spawns in. But then, if not, what we'll do is we'll go and uh, we'll go and grab some chlorophyte from the jungle. So I think that'll be decent. So I tell you what, maybe the book has something about her or them that we can read. Uh, Mirage. Oh, look at it. It's so strange. Okay, spawn info. Challenge the mysterious lady in the desert or use an amber mirror. This item is not craftable. Summons the Mirage can only be used in desert. So I want to say then, just based on that, that the mysterious lady might actually spawn above ground rather than underground. Just a theory, because I feel like it would say only spawns in the underground desert, for example. But maybe since it's a refight, doesn't count. I don't know. I feel bad. Should I just look it up? And then I know. Because obviously we won't beat it today because it's apparently very hard. And we haven't made upgrades. I'll tell you what. Let's let's not look it up for now. Let's... Oh, there you go. There you go. So it is something underground. Oh, we're so weak. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I don't know if... Oh, God. Please stop. Please stop. I don't know if... Oh, oh there she is. Oh, there they are. Why don't... <laughs> We'll learn all about them in a minute. Oh, there they are. Oh, my. Oh, my. You look very cool. So, are you only underground or, or what? Strange communicator. Lost, frightened, confused. Good. Good. 
All right, I'm going to assume underground. If I could, I don't want to. I don't want to make them despawn. They spawn in pretty quick, though. To be fair. Right. Stick around, please. Because if I could blow up a bit of this, I could theoretically. Yeah, I do have a clear path to the surface. Right, challenge. All right, here is Mirage. Mirage has awoken. Challenge accepted. All right, Mirage. Come up to the surface, please. Okay. Now let's see what you do. Right, so you can fight it on the surface. So let's see what happens here then. So as we know, very hard fight. Let's see what's going down. Now just be aware, I may get hit or I may have like a, a debuff or anything like that. And I might not notice for a little while. Just keep it in mind because I'm so focused on the actual fight. That was cool. I really like it. I'm becoming a big fan of a lot of these bosses. Split mod, you have my heart. So that's what Mirage is. Now we just need to know. Well, actually, we don't really need to know. As long as I've got a clear path to the surface, we can fight it on the surface. But we do need to make better armor and better weapons. So I think now would be a great time if you have recommendations. You're like, James, don't pass up on this armor because you're going to regret it. Now's the time to probably drop me a comment and then we'll do it in the next episode. So for the rest of today, we're off jungle diving. It's going to be good. Yeah, I'm really excited for this week. I wonder how far we'll, we'll get in the mod this week. I had a really good week last week. I was like, you know, I, I just wanted to record all the time. So I, that's how I knew I was like absolutely loving what we were kind of putting out. But I'm so excited to move. I am. I'm really excited. Like, I'm excited to have a new office and a new setup. And I'm going to set my camera up differently. And, and I'm hoping it encourages me to record more. The room is going to be more bright. I'm going to work on making a nice backdrop from the start. It's not going to be, like, gamery. It's going to... Yeah, I'm excited for it. I am excited for it. And we'll watch it grow. And I'll probably do the the empty house tour uh, next week as well. So that... Well, it'll be this week. So everybody can have a little look. Because we'll do the empty one. And then when it's all filled out with furniture in a couple of months, we'll do an update. Because that's how long it's going to be. It's going to take me a really long time to furnish my room. Mainly because I want everything to be right. I don't want to rush into it. I don't want to buy a bunch of furniture I don't want. So I've only bought two things. I bought the the standing desk, which I'm very pleased with, which I haven't seen built yet, for obvious reasons. And then I've also bought another desk, which is like a ladder desk. So it looks like um, a ladder, but it's also a desk, so I can have my laptop on there. And then if anybody comes around, like if I have a mate over, it's like a little station for them as well. But that's literally all I bought. That and sound foam. There's nothing else. It's quite a big room. Which is why I bought extra sound foam. Because I'm like worried about echo and stuff. Oh, I ain't got any food. I'm so sorry. Spirit. I'm, I'm really sorry. I wish I could give you a burger or something. But uh, but I can't. But the good thing about this um, room is it's got car. I mean, I... Oh, God. Right. <laughs> I, mean, I feel weak today. I feel very weak. I don't feel like I, I feel strong at all. Maybe it's probably time to... I don't know, though. You never know with modern armor whether it's time to actually move over or not. Mainly because modern armor is really good normally. So what's the set bonus of this? Increases your damage depending on your move speed. I could probably upgrade. So what's the... So this has been buffed, hasn't it? Um, that does 20 defense. Let's see Hallowed. Hallowed chest piece does 15. See what I mean? Go on, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll commit to it. Right. Uh, Ranger, bam. Leggings, bam. Right. So, currently 45 defense. Swapping it over. 37. Set bonuses are 25. All right. I've been bamboozled, swindled, and let down. There's no denying it. It's not a good look for me. I wish I could reverse engineer it <laughs> so that I don't have to worry. Right. Can I make a Splunker? Oh, I can. Yeah, that's better. It was kind of a little bit annoying, to be fair. Just trying to mine chlorophyte the other way. Oh, yeah. So, uh, one big thing that we can grab is life fruit. And I feel like with a boss like uh, Mirage, that's probably going to be pretty important. So, uh, so yeah, I'm going to grab that as well. The only thing is, or actually... And once again, I can't remember. I'm getting all these versions of Terraria muddled in my head. Can you get life fruit after one mechanical boss? Or is that a 1.4 thing? Or is that a calamity thing? Because I actually don't know. We're going to die here if I don't kill whatever's killing me. But it's a turtle. A tortoise. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry to all the turtle fans out there, you know? All the tortoise fans, I don't know. 
Two different groups. Two different animals. Very easy to mix. Ooh, all right. Taken out by a thick, baldy boy. All right. I want to see, um, and I imagine so, uh, There, there's probably um, some chlorophyte recipes, I'd imagine. Let's have a little look and see. Because you think if they didn't add a recipe for... Oh, they might have added recipes for hallowed bars. Right. So, Terra Quit? Terra Racket? I don't know. <laughs> so, oh, I think that is probably Gollum, right? Powers Gollum. Yeah, okay. So, that's post Gollum. So, let's see. There is the Hyper Sash. Oh, it's Weapons Out. That's Weapons Out. Um. Oh, so they're actually... Yeah, I don't think there's anything... Are these all normal? <laughs> I don't really take too much of a look at um, at stuff like this. Right, okay. So, yeah. Nothing from there. Um, tell you what. Let's look at hallowed bars. Because you would imagine they would add something there as well. But no. No, it's all the same. Okay. All right. Interesting. Interesting. So, yeah. yeah like I say, I think now is probably a good time. If you've got the, the weapon recommendations, drop them my way. So I think I'll, I'll probably wrap it up for today. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the world running for a little bit. And my goal is I'm hoping that uh, that we get some life fruit spawning in or like growing in and all that. Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, so as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, I can't wait for a good week. Shout out to our channel members as always. And yeah, be sure to let me know what you did this weekend. All right, big week. Looking forward to it. Um, but that's it for today. Give the video a big fat thumbs up. All that stuff. Oh, yeah. Try.shop if you want to check out some official merch. Um, yeah, right. See you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.